In this travel vlog, you'll get to join me to the coffee region in Colombia. Together, we'll explore the cute and colorful town of Salento, go and see the highest palm trees in the world in Cocora Valley, and do a tour around one of the famous coffee farms. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am currently backpacking through South America together with my boyfriend Rul and at the moment we are in Colombia. We are just at the bus station of Cali and from here we're gonna travel to the famous coffee region of Colombia. To be more exact, we're going to a town known as Salento. It's supposed to be a really beautiful town. To get there it was a little bit tricky because at least here from Cali there was no direct bus. So what we're doing is that we're first taking a bus to a place called Ar Armenia and then from there apparently you are supposed to be able to take the next bus but it's I think it's more of a local bus so you couldn't book it online or anything and it supposedly goes every half an hour so yeah we are now on our way to Armenia soon and then let's hope we can find a bus or if not some other kind of transportation to take us all the way to Salento. Armenia bus station. We still need to figure out how to get to Salento. Today's plan is that we're gonna visit the famous Kokora Valley. So you might have seen pictures from the place, but it's a place where they basically have the tallest palm trees in the world. And in order to get there, you need to take a Jeep or as they're called, willies here. So the willies leave from the plaza. Do not go where Google Maps tells you to go because that's completely wrong. But uh, yeah, here by the plaza, there's a little ticket counter and then you get on one of the Jeeps. I got the front seat, so I have a good view. And Rul is standing in the back, so he's holding on, holding on in the back. And you can also stand there, but that's apparently what he wanted to do anyway. So yeah, maybe on the way back, I could also try the standing, but excited. <laughs> We've arrived to the Kokora Valley and it is so beautiful here. Also the Jeep ride here was stunning. It kind of is giving me like Jurassic Park vibes. It's uh, really, really cool. So when you arrive in Kokora Valley, I recommend for you to head straight to a place called El Bosque de las Palmas, as this is the main attraction here. The entrance for this is 20,000 pesos per person. You can either do a shorter hike or a very long hike. So we'll see which one we end up doing. Honestly, I just want to see beautiful views and enjoy the scenery and get some nice photos. I'm not necessarily in for a crazy exercising uh, hike at the moment.
order. To get to the best spots you do need to walk uphill quite a bit, so that's something to be prepared for. Or another option is to do it by horse riding, but I'm not sure how well the horses are kept here. I'm not sure, but that could also be an option if you don't want to walk. <laughs> We've now come to Mirador number one and this is from where you also then walk back unless you want to do the really long hike. We are still going to walk to Mirador number two which is 500 more meters up and then we're eventually going to come back to Mirador number one and walk back down from here. We have reached Mirador number two. Wow, so beautiful. I think this is one of the spots where you always see the Instagram photos from. Wow, I need to get my own photo too. <laughs> we forgot to bring water bottles which was so stupid but here at Mirador number two there's a little kiosk and they sell drinks. I'm gonna have an iced tea, I think. I'm so happy. I was so thirsty. This makes me so happy. Costed 5,000 pesos. So pretty okay for a place like this. Everyone's just chilling here with the most breathtaking view. So if you want to do the longer hike, it's about 12 kilometers. You continue forward here from Mirador number two, but I'm not sure how much more up it would be if you would do the longer hike. It looks like quite a big part of it is walking down as well. This Mirador number two was really, really beautiful. It was so nice to just sit and chill here. So I really recommend walking up to here at least. Whoa. <laughs> Almost fell. Okay, I need to put my camera down and focus on walking. Over here, you can take a photo with a hand if you want, but there's quite a queue, so I think I'm gonna skip on that. And we're going to be walking down from here instead. Over there is where we started. treating ourselves to some goodies. Roll got a coffee and a chocolate cake and I got a red velvet cake. Let's try out this red velvet cake. Looks so good. So this is a little cafe that's like in the park that we paid for. I love red velvet cake. It's one of my favorites. Mm. Really good. Not dry at all, which is nice. So to show you what we did, here is the entrance. And we walked up from here, which is this route here. And we walked up, 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 up. Here was viewpoint number one, and here was viewpoint number two. If you would want to do the long hike, you would continue up and go around. And apparently the long hike takes around four to five hours. But what we did is that we went up, and then here at Mirador 2, we turned back down and came back. I personally thought that was quite a nice walk to do. I've seen people who have children and stuff have more of just stayed in this area. So just stayed here. So you don't have to go all the way up, but of course I would say that it is worth it if you have the energy and means to do it. Oh. What I'm trying to work on with myself is that I don't always have to do everything. Usually I'm the kind of person, if I come to a place like this, I have to do the long hike. Even if I wouldn't necessarily enjoy it, I just have to do it because, I don't know, I have to do the biggest, best thing, I don't know. But I'm trying to learn that sometimes less is more. What we did now I thought was perfectly enough. I really liked it, it wasn't too tiring and yeah, it was really beautiful and really nice. I don't know if anyone can maybe relate to what I'm saying. We're now waiting to take a willy back to Salento, but the queue is super long. It starts there, but then it goes all the way around. 
until there. There hasn't been any in a long time, so hopefully soon they'll start showing up. But luckily, we're on vacation, so we're in no rush. <laughs> I hope I'm not gonna regret saying that though. Traveling back, standing at the end. <sighs> a little bit scared, but let's hope it goes okay. Today we're going to be doing one of the famous coffee tours here. We just bought the ticket and reserved a spot on a jeep, but we still have like almost an hour before our jeep leaves. So let's just walk around Salento a little bit and have a look what the town itself looks like because we haven't really done that a lot yet and it looks really, really cute. So let's do that now. Somehow our exploration has ended up with <laughs> us exploring only for like 5-10 minutes and now we've come to a cafe. Although we are about to go on a coffee tour soon, but oh well. To tell you guys a little bit of a secret, I actually don't like coffee. Well, here in the cafe I'm gonna order something else and for the coffee tour I'm gonna be trying the coffees, but I don't think I'm gonna like them if I'm completely honest. But um, Rul will have more coffee, he loves it, so yeah, I'm, I'm here for the experience instead. Red velvet cake yesterday was maybe better. It's all right. I'm back on the Jeep. Now for the first time I'm actually sitting in like the middle part instead of sitting in the front or hanging on to in the back. There are several different coffee plantations in the area that you can visit and today we've decided to come to a place called Don Elias. Costed 35,000 pesos per person for a tour and then it was an additional 8,000 for the Jeep back and forth. And yeah, it's supposed to be a good one, at least it had good reviews and also they supposedly have tours both in Spanish and English. So yeah, let's hope it'll be as good as promised. And the surroundings are really beautiful. A bunch of banana trees behind me, it seems like. In Brazil, the rain is flat. And the guy has only coffee, no banana, no coffee. I really enjoyed our visit to the coffee farm. During the tour, we got to learn about coffee and its history, production and farming. This coffee plantation was located right in the jungle, making the surroundings absolutely beautiful. And they also had a bunch of different fruits growing here. When you carry like that, no juice. Mm -hmm. This is tahiti lemon. It goes for export in Mexico for the tequila. <laughs> this is for Mexico for the tequila. No tiene fruta, este sí. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Sour. And this plant has five characteristics to identify. Number one, the bean is bigger, sweeter, resistant to the roja, the plant is not too high. Coffee bean. Okay, I need to grab the one. Okay. All the way around. Yes, I'm 
Gracias. Cheers. Probably one of the only times you'll ever see me drink coffee on this channel. You can have it. The coffee tour was really, really interesting. And this is coming from someone who doesn't even like coffee. I'm a bit bummed because apparently there's a nice waterfall close by where you could have gone swimming. But we didn't bring any swimsuits or towels or anything. I wish I would have known that. And then I would have definitely gone for a dip at the waterfall. But if you come here to Don Elias, bring some swimming stuff with you. So maybe you can do that then. But now we're about to go and wait for the Jeep. It should come in 10 minutes and we'll be heading back to Salento. Today was our last day here in Salento, but I've liked it very, very much. It's such a beautiful region. I've really enjoyed my time here. I also think our hotel has been good. Breakfast is included. The location is good. We have a private bathroom. Price is good. The only negative thing I would say is that I feel like our walls are paper thin. Like if someone's showering in the room next to us, you can really, really hear it. It sounds like they're in our room. So that has maybe a little bit affected my sleep, but otherwise I've been really happy with it. Tomorrow morning we're taking the bus to Medellin and I'm really excited about that and well the next video will be from there. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you liked it remember to give this video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!